America. Welcome to another edition of Camping Corner. Things have changed a little bit, a little different scenery. <laughs> Going to see a few new things. Yeah. Um, and a new face. And a new face. Yeah. Well, that was the new thing. Oh. That was the, that was the new thing. Sorry, I stole your thunder. <laughs> no, that's, that's all right. So <laughs> let me introduce you. For those of you that haven't been into the dealership or haven't watched any of our videos ever, ever, never, never. Yeah, because I did like the majority of like all the very first videos because... I worked with Dan and helped him with his Puma, so I was his go-to for every video. So, so this is Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nikki, one of my uh, cohorts, good friend of mine, and uh, enjoy working with her. And she's got a ton of knowledge, and um, she's smart. So, so you might have received a flyer in the mail. By the way, we apologize. Things have been really crazy for a couple of weeks. So I think it's been three weeks since we've had an episode of Camping Corner. Um, and you know, we're just trying to get caught up, so <laughs> and by caught up, he means we've been literally like running around like crazy people in here. We've had tons of customers, we're selling lots of campers. So, if you guys are interested in one, you need to come see us yeah. because we've got the inventory that nobody else has got. That's right, and we've got a sale going on right now. You might have got a flyer, yep. might have seen it on, on our website. Yep. Through the 24th of this month. Through the 24th, yep. yep. We have a, a, a very limited number, handful, like <laughs> like handful of inventory that is stock number specific that's in there. There are some great buys in there, but due to manufacturer price increases, product and material increases, there have been some price increases. So there's a handful, like I said, bloop, bloop, like a small cup, maybe a shot glass. Okay, come on. <laughs> I love her already. I love her already. Best addition we've ever added to the show. <laughs> so, get a, get a load of those. Yep. So, first off, what's this? This is a Passport 268BH. Um, it's fiberglass. It's small. It's lightweight. It has an outdoor kitchen. I mean, you're getting all the same features that you would get on, like, a larger unit. It's just condensed. You know what? Let's test her knowledge. Let's just see how sharp she is. How much does it weigh, Dickie? Oh, this is like hmm, 5,700 pounds. She didn't cheat or anything. I didn't. Cheat. <laughs> and look at the weight. 5,760. <laughs> Been doing it a little while. Yeah, super cool floor plan. Of course, like so many other units out there, you've got a power awning. You've got LED lights up underneath. You've got your outdoor speakers. Like Nikki said, you've got an outdoor kitchen with a two burner stove and your cocktail fridge. Um, you know, lots of cool stuff on the outside, and it's a laminated trailer. So you've got a nice fiberglass exterior, easy to take care of, easy to clean, so on like that. Oh, what else is also really cool about this one is, even though it is in the SL series, because they make the SL series and the GT, um, this has that heated and closed underbelly, so you can camp earlier in the season and later. Yeah. So if you would have been camping yesterday on the world's worst <laughs> April Fool's joke, <laughs> when it was 72 it. degrees on, you know, right. Sunday, you know, on Saturday and snow yesterday, but all the cool stuff's inside this unit. Yeah. Funny story really quickly. Um, I saw a post on Facebook last night that said, Mother Nature is like throwing out lottery numbers right now. Yeah. It's 60, <laughs> 21, yep. 13. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's so true. And it seems like every time it's our day off. Right. It's cold. It's snowy cold. or it's snowy. nasty. All right. Let's show them the inside. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, guys. Here we are in this floor plan. A couple really cool things back here on the back. Double over double bunks. 300-pound uh, weight capacity in the top bunk. 300-pound uh, weight capacity in the bottom bunk. Bunk flips up. There's a door at the back. So if you've got dog crates, bicycles, strollers, pack and plays, anything cool like that that you need to carry, uh, kayaks, surfboards, boogie boards, whatever, you throw it in the back. Tons of storage space in this unit. If you can't store it in here when you go camping, you need a bigger camper. <laughs> Bathroom back here with a walk-in shower. We have so many clients that talk about the fact that they don't want a bathtub, and so many bunkhouse units actually have a bathtub. This has got a walk-in shower. Your dinette, and whoop, bigger dinette, bigger sofa, depending on the conditions of you know the, what's going on outside. Nobody really wants to hang out inside the coach too much. But lots of cool stuff, you know, back here. Now, 
all the way up at the very front of this unit. All right, guys, up here in the very front of this passport is the master bedroom. Um, it's got the double doors here that close, which I think are really nice. Uh, looks really cool, but it's a queen size bed, 60 by 80, full queen size bed. Underneath um, the little cubby holes right there, you've got USB charging ports and plugins on both sides of the bed. Lots of places to store stuff here. Um, storage under the bed also. Moving into the kitchen, again, tons of space, storage here underneath of your sink. You've got two drawers, uh, sorry, three drawers on this side. Plug in. Counting's hard. Huge <laughs> sink with the cover. So you got lots of countertop space. And then TVs up here. Uh, Tony kicked on the really cool uh, little LED lights around your stove. Um, three burner stove, oven. <laughs> Uh, TV again across from your seating area and then all of your controls are right here inside the door uh, as well as the stereo. So you want to go check out another unit? Yeah, one one real quick thing. Okay. I think especially for people that are in a bunkhouse that are going to travel with children. So there's a couple things that are really cool safety wise about the stove. So I kicked on the LED lights so these can be left on as uh, night lights so the rest of the lights can be off but you got some night lights but even more importantly if a burner is on the LED lights turn red so you've got a visual to pop out and say hey somebody bumped the, that. Now even if the lights aren't on and a burner's on the red LED light comes on so you get a nice visual representation of hey somebody left a burner on that way nobody gets burnt nobody fills the camper up and you don't blow up and blow up all your neighbors that you just met that's perfect bad that's... bad news in the campground exactly yeah that's all rude right. that's rude to blow up your neighbors it is rude to blow up your neighbors. all right all you right. want to show, yep, show let's, something else let's go let's go take a look let's at something else all right guys so for the last six months you spent time trying to talk your wife into getting that new truck not necessarily brand new, but new to you. And you went from a half ton to a three quarter ton or a one ton or whatever, because you want, I wouldn't want to pull a fifth wheel. <laughs> Man, one of the absolute most awesome floor plans that you can get is the Cougar 316. This is the full Cougar 316 RLS. Comes in uh, about 10,400 pounds. It is a, a great couples coach with uh, opposing slides in the back, which you'll see uh, in, when we go inside. Prep for side view cameras and the backup camera, laminated trailer, enough room to store a bunch of bodies in, in here. <laughs> if you cut them up right, you can really get a bunch don't of them in there. Don't talk about cutting bodies up. People don't want to hear about that. That's, that's, that's what Sorry, plausible deniability. That, <laughs> that's what you mean, plausible deniability. Power awning, LED lights. Not Second only, power I know, not only one awning, but yep, two. two. Two power awnings, um, solid steps. Again, this is the Climate Guard um, coach as well. So this is rated for full-time living. So it's got that heated enclosed underbelly. Um, it's got the, the heat pads. 12 volt heat pads. Yep, on the, mm -hmm. on the tank. So definitely something again yeah. for this early season camping or yep. you know, fall camping. Definitely. Yep, and depending on where you're gonna be, mm -hmm. remember that a coach that's insulated well enough to stay warm when it's cold out is easier to keep cool when it's hot out. Definitely, yep. Um, Gosh, I mean, there's so many features on this. I don't know. Let's show them the inside. All right, let's do it. Look at the size of the sofa. How many campers out there? Now, I'm not super tall. I'm like four inches taller than a little person. But I'm like 5'9". You know. <laughs> All right. Where are you going with this? It's got a big couch. Okay. But it also makes a bed, too. I know, but who, you know, I don't want to make the bed out now. That's just creepy to do on video. Well, right. I okay. would agree, but yeah. So just so you guys know, it does actually make into yep. a, a three trifold sofa yeah. bed. Yeah, okay. trifold sofa. Plenty of cabinet space up here. Great uh, television, entertainment center. TV pulls out with a swivel. So if you're laying there taking a nap, you want to watch the nap car race on Fox or whatever channel it is, you can do that while you're taking your nap. Storage That's space a up above. Ton of storage. That's a boatload of storage. I know. Just under like a massive amount. Right. Exactly. Fireplace down below, 5100 BTU electric heat source. Mm -hmm. So if you're new to camping, when you go into a campground, the campground's never going to say, hey, how much electricity are you going to use? They're going to give you all of it that you can use. 
So you can use the campground's electricity to heat the inside of the coach. Right, exactly. Save your propane, use yeah. that for you know a trip when you don't have That's right. electricity. <laughs> um, theater seating over here, guys, what I love about this, uh, theater seating is super, super comfy. Um, you've got two cup holders here that are lighted, but this also has heat and massage, which is really cool. So if you've been out hiking all day, um, yeah, you can try that out. It's pretty comfy. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and lighted uh, lighted cup holders as well. Um, you got to have lighted cup holders because how many times have you tried to set your cocktail down and you couldn't find the cup holders? <laughs> lighted cup holder. And it beeps too when you turn one of these on. I don't yep. know which one of these you just somebody's on. somebody's got heat massage, <laughs> solid surface countertops, dual stainless steel 50/50 sinks, single lever faucet with a sprayer. Got a huge dinette, you know, plenty of room for four people. Storage space underneath the seats. Now they're not huge. I got it. They're not huge, but they are a great place to put decks, cards, uh, board games, uh, cra uh, coloring books, crayons, you know, all that stuff. Body pieces that you couldn't fit in the <laughs> pastor storage. We're not talking storage. about cutting people up anymore. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, Mickey's all up and he's. No, good. you just can't talk about people. Don't hear about that that's weird big residential refrigerator um lots of storage in there as well and then i like this because of the the shelves and the, the little drawers and everything in in your freezer and then behind me is a huge pantry so i mean you can fit like a lot of food in there you're not going to be running back and forth to the grocery store all the time and then a lot of people call this a little coffee bar right here um Storage above, storage below. Guys, this is a great coach, too. I, Cougar does a great job. What can we say? Tony? So, up here, full-size step-in shower with a seat so you can shave your legs or you can sit and wash your nasty feet. Porcelain toilet. That's right, only the best for your buns. His and hers vanities, I love the fact that they put, to save space, they put the uh, faucets out on the ends. You got dual mirrors up here. Linen storage. Linen storage. You have no idea how many times we hear people talk about, well, the bathroom's a little bit small and there's no place to put towels, washcloths, things like that with linen. So all that storage space in here, plus his and hers vanities. Storage space down underneath. Her drawer, her drawer. He gets like this little cubby hole right there, but lots of storage space. And then it's got a king size bed. Check out Nikki. Yep. So an actual king size bed uh, in a bed slide. So you actually have room at the foot of the bed to walk around. Huge, huge closet up front. Um, also prepped for washer and dryer. If you don't want washer and dryer, again, extra storage. Um, also does have the, the little dresser here. Two smaller drawers on top, two bigger drawers down below. And one thing I think is really cool too is they put windows on both sides of the bed that both open. So you're going to be able to get a really nice cross breeze if you don't want to run like an AC. This is prepped for a second AC, um, but I, I think the fresh air is pretty, pretty cool. Plus, it gives you the capability that you can just open that window and yell at people and say, Shut up! It's quiet time! On to the next camper. On to the next camper. All right, guys. So, um, one of the other ones we're going to check out today is a Puma Destination Trailer. This is the 39PQB. Um, What's a destination trailer? That is a great question, Dan. Why, thank you, Tony. Oh, you want me to answer that? Yeah, you should answer <laughs> that. I should answer it. Okay. A destination trailer... Typically, is a unit that's going to have sliding patio doors. This is really a trailer for somebody that's got a seasonal spot at a campground or a lake um, or a private piece of property where they just want to set something out. It's typically not designed to be towed from campground to campground to campground, again, because the sliding patio doors, they don't travel well. They're typically massive in size, 39, 40 feet long. Um, but they give you some of the advantages of, of an RV. They have some residential things inside, which you'll see when we go inside. And they've got a siding patio door, so if you put a big deck out here or anything like that, um, just really works out well. 
And like you said, they have a lot of the same features as like a travel trailer or a fifth wheel. Yep. So you still have your, you know, really large power awning. You've got your outdoor speakers. Yep. You've got an LP Quick Connect uh, right here on the front. So even if you don't have put your grill. a patio, you can put a rug out here yep. and still make yep. it feel. Yeah. Absolutely. So you got a lot of cool stuff like that. And this particular floor plan has a great outdoor kitchen. Because of where it's parked, I can't open this all the way. But it does have a pull-out uh, graystone griddle. It's got a three and a half cubic foot refrigerator. It's got a microwave. Countertops are all metal, so if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about you know anything swelling up. Hot and cold running water, cell phone charger, all that stuff outside. So super cool. Plus, you could have another you know another grill going up there or if you had a propane powered smoker you could have it going up there underneath the awning you've also got an outside tv bracket so you could actually put a tv out here yep. you know and like hang out outside you've got your plug-ins your cable hookups yep. so let's check I, out some of the features inside i own a destination trailer yeah, yeah and because of covid you know we didn't do the indy 500 memorial day weekend we did it in august we actually set up, set our, uh, had a TV set up out on the deck, and we all sat out on the deck and under the awning and watched the race and had some cocktails. Cool. Inside. So on the inside, when you come in those patio doors, your entertainment center is here um, with the TV, your stereo, your again fireplace, another cool feature. Um, again, it's a trifold sofa, so if you wanted, you know, somebody to sleep on your couch, I mean, some people don't have a choice, but yeah. okay. So you got a couch for that, and then over here is the table. You got your dinette, yep. freestanding table, four chairs. You got a residential uh, refrigerator, so a 110 refrigerator, and it's got an ice maker. You've also got a residential size, even though uh, technically I think it's apartment, apartment size, size, but it's a four burner uh, gas range, as well as a big oven right here, solid surface countertops, microwave, all that cool stuff, lots of storage up there, food pantry, Storage, spice rack, canned goods. Good thing he's not tall, like he said earlier, because he would have just whacked his head on that ceiling fan he forgot to mention. Love you, Tony. Bunk room back here. So there is bunk, a fold-down bunk, a sofa, fold-down bunk. There. And half bath. So this is a bath and a half floor plan. You'll find the other bath all the way up front with Nikki. Yep. She's on location at the front of you. <laughs> all right, guys. So this this one has your stand up shower uh, with the sliding sliding glass doors, storage in the bathroom, sink, you know, regular regular commode, and then in the very very front is your master bedroom. Again, this one has a slide out, so it's got the huge bed in here, um, plenty of space, lots and lots of storage uh, in your cabinetry area here. All that storage. Nikki, what? show them what's in that cabinet. I know, I'm show going. What's in going. That. Show them. This is really cool, guys. You're going to love it. Again, so this is prepped for washer and dryer. Sorry, trying to hold the door open. We're not level. So uh, prepped for washer and dryer. So if you are parked at some place um, and you want to be able to do your own laundry and your own camper, this is already ready for it. If you don't want the washer and dryer, then it's additional hanging storage. And that is the screen yes. for, the, for the sliding patio doors right there. Yeah. This unit's also got two ACs on it. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. All right, guys, we just want to thank you for joining us this week um, for Camping Corner. Um, I'm really excited to be doing this with Tony. Um, I think this is gonna be really fun. So she made it through her first episode. <laughs> now, what y'all aren't seeing is I'm gonna push her in the in the lake, no, he's not. in the pond here in just a minute. No, he's not. But no, just kidding, guys. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. I know uh, we've gotten several messages of uh, people wanting to know what happened to Camping Corner. Um, you know, we're standing outside. For those of you that that have never, if you haven't been here, we got a beautiful pond. We're, we were trying to see, we've also got a bald eagle. Uh, we've got a mated pair of bald eagles over here in the woods. So we see bald eagles every day. Merka! 
And uh, sorry, I don't know what that was. You, I, I mean, right. how, you know how cool I know, is that? It is really cool, and we love bringing people out here to see it. I was watching them fly over the other day out on the lot, yeah. and you just have to stop what you're doing and just watch them because it's it's. Really you crazy. know, I had I had a, a friend that was they were someplace and they took pictures. Oh, we couldn't believe we saw a bald eagle, and I I had to take I had to respond with right. a picture of ours and said. I see them every day at work. Exactly. Every single day. But still, at work. it's it's still really awesome to be able to see them. So, yeah. yeah. So anyway, tune in next week. Stop in to see us. Come pick up your your camper. Our campground opens April the 9th. so it's it's camping season. You know, uh, we're going to be in the seventies all next week, so uh -huh. it's it's camping <laughs> season. It's time to rock and roll, guys. So. And again, you guys, um, the ones of you that got the flyer, remember that those units that are in there are stock specific. So if those sell, you know, we're not gonna be able to get you at that same price. So you need to hurry on in and take advantage of those prices while they're available. So. Hey, yep. and if you've got suggestions for another episode or things that you wanna see, make sure you let us know. Yep. And let's start a contest because this is kind of the first camping corner um, of camping season. Let's say camping corner of camping season. All right. If we can get a million views by the end of July, a million views okay. of Camping Corner by the end of July, during an episode of Camping Corner, Dan will swim across the pond in celebration. Okay, okay Nikki, guys. you don't want to close things up? Come on, guys. Help us out. Thanks again for joining us for Camping Corner. Um, can't wait to see you guys next week. See you guys.